Hello, 7th grader. Today we're talking about ratios, rates, and unit rates. Rates are just a specific type of ratio, which, and unit rates are just like a specific type of rate. So we're just getting more and more specific. I like the Oxford comma, so I'm going to throw it in there. Why don't you put it in your title as well? And name and date as well. Here we go. Ratios are comparisons of two basic values, and they can be written as, like if your values are A and B, it would be A colon B, which you would read as A to B, or the ratio of cups of sugar to brownies is 5 to 9. 5 colon 9. Or the ratio we're most used to seeing is a comparison of two values. That's a fraction. So like 5 to 9 is the one I was using. So, so that might be something we would use. So fractions are, are ratios because they compare two values, pieces to the total pieces. Rates are comparisons of values with different units. So this is how we're kind of getting away from fractions. Fractions talk about part of a whole, and now we're going to be talking about different units. So like if I say that I could go 360 miles in three hours. Well now, that doesn't make sense to really express as a fraction because it's not part of a whole. Those are completely different units. Now that's just a rate because it has two different units. The most useful rate is a unit rate, and it has a denominator of 1, and that's what we use most often. So I, I gave a, an example of when do we use it. I don't use unit rates. Yes, you do. Whenever the denominator is 1, like if you say per blank, per one hour, per meal, it costs $6 per movie, or something like that. Um, so we like to have a denominator of one, and so I chose a picture of my favorite car, which is the Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR, which could probably do 360 miles in three hours, and now you're thinking to yourself, how fast is that? Well, if we divide numerator and denominator by three, you'll find out that that's 120 miles per hour. 120 miles to one hour. And so that sounds more like something we would use. And that's actually called the unit rate because the denominator is one. We're talking about per one hour. Now, the last note we had to have is just a reminder. Equivalent fractions can be made by multiplying or dividing numerator and denominator by the same value. And equivalent fractions are equivalent. They're, they're the same amount expressed in two different ways. So I want to show you that real quick, uh, why we believe that and why that's true. So let's move on to the next slide. And here it is. And this is something I've shown you in the past, and I'm just going to show you again real quick. And that's the that idea that I could show you one-fourth, and I would hope that you would all agree that this is a poor representation of one-fourth, and you could do much better. But if this is one-fourth, the reason we can make an equivalent fraction by multiplying numerator and denominator by 2. The reason that 2 eighths is equivalent to this, or the same amount, is because I've already shaded. I'm not going to shade any more. But if I make two more cuts, you'll see that now it's 2 out of 8 total pieces are shaded. And the reason is, if I doubled all the pieces, of course I doubled the area that was shaded as well, because it was one of the pieces. So that's why equivalent fractions make sense. So we can multiply or divide numerator and denominator by the same thing. Examples, here we go. Work with me. Write as an, a simplified ratio in all three ways. I pay $3 in taxes for every $9 I make. Ain't Uncle Sam the best. You'll hear people complain about taxes more and more. $3 in taxes for every $9 I make. I'm going to pause. $3 in taxes for every $9 I make. Sorry, I had to pause for a second. So we'll have a simplified ratio would be $3 to $9. So 3 to 9. Well, we know that that simplified would be divide top and bottom by 3. We'd have 1 third. But not 1 third. We'd say 1, 2, 3. T-O. So for every one dollar I make, or for I pay one dollar in taxes for every three dollars I make. And the other two ways to write that are one to three. Pay one dollar in taxes for every three dollars I make, or just the words. That looks like a four. One, two, three. That's the ratio. It's one to three. Second one, write is a rate and a unit rate. There are eighteen girls and nine guys. So. 18 girls to 
nine guys and again these have different units so let's put the units 18 girls and yes I am setting up for a bad joke right here well unit rate has a denominator of 1 so we know we need to divide numerator and denominator by 9 to get this to be one guy and if we divide denominator by 9 we need to divide numerator by 9 and we get two girls for every guy if I was at a party like that still no girls would talk to me but um chink Last one, right as a rate and a unit rate. I drove 189 miles in three and a half hours. So 189 miles divided by three and a half hours. And let's write it as a decimal. What's the unit rate? How fast did I travel in, or how far did I go in one hour? And we'll divide numerator and denominator by three and a half. Divide numerator by three and a half. Show your work. Take forever, Mr. Schwartz. I'm sorry. Well, 189 divided by three and a half. Hopefully you recall that when we're dividing decimals, we swoop, there it is, swoop this one to the wall, we have to swoop this and add a zero. How many times does 35 go into 18? It doesn't. How many times does 35 go into 189? Well, 10 would be 350. Half of 350 is 175, so half of 10 would be 5. 5 times 5 is 25, carry a 2, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. Subtract, we have 140. How many times does 35 go into 140? Hmm, let's try four. Four times five is 20, looks good. Four times three is 12, plus two is 14, woo! Bring up my decimal just to be sure where it is. Okay, 54, I drove 54 miles in one hour. And that makes sense. 189 miles in three, three and a half hours. Okay, 54 sounds reasonable. So that's just some examples of how we're going to use rates and unit rates. We're writing them kind of like fractions. We're using that notation, and then we're simplifying, creating equivalent fractions. We're just dividing by whatever our denominator is, so we have a denominator of 1. That's what we want. We want that denominator of 1 for a unit rate. I'm going to leave you with some to work on your own, per usual, and uh, here they are. First, write as a ratio in three ways. One team has 30 points, the other has 12. Also, why don't you simplify that? Simplify that. Write as a simplified ratio in three ways. Then write as a unit rate. Write as a rate and a unit rate. He scored 190 points after playing five hours. So find that unit rate after you write it as a rate. Best of luck. See you later.